Hey guys, Kim Possible Workouts here. Today we're going to talk about form and lunges. You know we've been doing a few videos here and there talking about form and technique, so today's video is going to focus on your lunge technique. And arguably what could be more important? You want to chisel those legs, right? So the first thing you're going to want to do, and this is actually a great way to set up, come on down on one knee in the back. Notice how you've just got that nice natural feel. You're sitting on one knee, you've got the other foot in front of you, and you're at 90 degrees in both knees. Now push up from there. That's how long you should be. If you feel a little wobbly, just go a little wider, one heel toe out from the front leg. And now you should feel like really, really stable and you're um, kind of structurally sound for your lunge from the bottom half perspective. So the next thing you're going to want to do is roll your shoulders up, back and down, and kind of push your chest out a little bit. Make sure that your upper body stays perpendicular to the ground the entire time you're doing your lunge. Now, when you're talking about the actual lunge, let's come on down and try and stop both knees at about 90 degrees. That's exactly where your bottom range of motion is on the lunge. So you're going to be pushing all the way up and then down to about 90 and 90. That's your target. The other thing that's really important in the lunge is to make sure that both feet are pointing forward. So sometimes, you know, you might have your back leg pointing that way or, you know, I see all kinds of things in class. Just make sure that you're pointing both feet straight ahead and that naturally turns your hips and your shoulders straight forward as well. So now if I had the bar on my back, I'd be able to go straight down and straight up. And naturally, I'm pushing through my front heel and the back toes. In the lunges, you know, there's tons of opportunities that you can do in body pump. You can obviously have the bar on your back. You can certainly use a third leg option as well, which basically just gives you the ability to have a little extra stability in the front. So the other thing you can do is you can just grab a couple free weights, step back, and just lunge with those weights in your hand. And of course, the fourth option is no weight at all. So it kind of depends on what you want and, and what you are able to do. The lunge is targeting your quads, your hamstrings, which are in the back, and of course your glutes as well. All right, so go enjoy it, practice it out, maybe do 10 lunges on each side. Happy lunging.